Hi Cancer, welcome to your love reading for mid-September to mid-October. This is not the general reading for October. This is um, just a little extra love reading um, that we do in the middle of the month. I just want to make sure everybody knows that. And there is an extended. However, we are doing things a little bit differently. For the last year, when we do the love readings, we've been looking into the other person's energy that you're bringing into the reading. This time, we're going to look into your energy first. So we're going to get an oracle card for an overall advice. We're going to clarify the oracle card with tarot. And in the extended, we will go further into your energy and kind of see where you're coming from um, and what kind of advice that you need on where you're going. <laughs> and then we will also look into the other person's energy with another deck of cards. So it'll be like a whole new reading. <clears throat> if you haven't joined us for our meditation and Reiki healing circles um, that we're having weekly now, check that out on my website. And this is the last week that you can get a reading, a personal reading with me for a little while. Um, the one hour and 30 minute readings are still on sale. And after this week, <clears throat> I'm going to halt sales of readings and just kind of take a break and energy rest in October. So, all right. I know I had to shut up for your energy to pop out. I knew that was the way it was going to go. You guys were like, could you just keep your mouth shut, please? We're kind of going through it a little. So we have release. And this is the death card in the traditional tarot. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio energy in your life. Or this could just mean that you're going through that transformative phase of there. there's something about you or your life or everything that's been going on that needs to change and transform. And with this death card, you're moving into a time where you know that things cannot stay the same anymore. So let's see what kind of energy we can get. Coming right out of the gate, are we? All right. All right. I get it. And see, here's the thing is there is the person in your life and you're like, I don't know what to do with this person. We have a really great connection. Connection. We have a, that's, there's that word again. It's like just because you have a connection does not mean that you have to sacrifice yourself for the other person. Like I'm so, t <laughs> I feel like I want to like tattoo that on something or like put that on a t-shirt just because you have a connection doesn't mean that you sacrifice yourself for that person. You see, and here's the thing is, is the more you try and control the situation, and we've talked about this before, Cancer, the more you try and control the situation, the more hurt you're going to feel because your expectations are, are going like your, your expectations of the other person are trying to control it and things turning out the way that you want them to turn out. You're not, it's you, nobody can live up to that. Not because of who you are, but because of what you are expecting out of that you're expecting this person to be like a totally different person than who they are, right? I don't feel like you're seeing it for what it really is. They have to progress as well, right? And I feel like you controlling this situation only results, and maybe it's them. Maybe they're controlling the situation too much and that's where the pain is coming from let me show you these cards and then we'll talk about it a little more so we have the lovers there's that connection the two of swords the king of pentacles so dealing with an earth sign um we also have a fire sign down here the knight of wands with the emperor and the three of swords so it could be Aries, it could be Gemini, it could be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or Scorpio.
But I feel like what's happening here is you want it. It's like you want to, to be able to see that this connection that you have with the king of pentacles, whether it's a fire sign or whatever, whoever it is. Okay. He's a stable part of your life. Doesn't even have to be a male. If you're a man watching this, this could be a female too. But here's the thing is it's like you want to see the connection, but you don't want to see the reality surrounding the connection. Does that make sense? Maybe not. It's like that lover's card is so bright and so glaring. It's, you know, bright yellow and here we are right in your face, you know, and so that's what you're seeing. And you're closing your eyes to everything else. And when you close your eyes to everything else, two of swords, because whether we're twin flames or not, we still have to live in the 3D reality. And if this king of pentacles or this emperor or this Scorpio is um, not a, being very good in reality, of not being very, you know what I mean, and, and hurting you, Three of Swords, right? And making you question all the time. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Because you know what to do. You can't stay, you can't stay blindfolded. But I feel like you're staying blindfolded for the sake of the connection. You see? And the Emperor, yes, you could be dealing with an Aries, but I also feel like you're just like, just give me a little bit more time, right? Like you're trying to control the situation by looking past the hurt, looking past the pain, looking past the things that happen that you can't really change, but you've put yourself in, right? Just because you have a connection, just because you love someone, that does not mean that you sacrifice yourself 100% for that person for the sake of a connection. And I can tell that you're sacrificing yourself because of the Three of Swords. You see? So let's get a little bit more in depth in the extended. Thank you all for your support and love. Um, I really appreciate it, um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the extended, and I will see you guys for October readings. Love you so much. Bye.